Thank you. Yeah. It's always a great pleasure to come to NUS to see so many old friends and uh, new friends. Uh, today I will talk uh, something about low degree homologous or congruence group. This is a joint work with, with my supervisor, Jesu Li. This is supervisor. The talk has uh, seven parts. First, I will uh, say something about the uh, cohomologies of arithmetic manifolds and uh, state the main uh, results. Result. Then in the second part, in the third part, I will recall the basic uh, uh, theory of continuous cohomologies and the smooth cohomologies of representational Lie group. Then I, st I will state a key uh, local result and then I will uh, recall uh, two impo some important results of Frank about uh, filtrations on automatic forms. Uh, finally, I will uh, I will say a few words on, on the, the proof of the main theorem, which reduced the, 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 the local theorem, the, the local result. So this is uh, your setting. G is a real reductive group. K is a maximum compactable group and a fixed uh, lattice. So lattice means gamma is a, a discursive group of G and G mod gamma has an uh, invariant uh, measure of finite total volume. Yeah. Then we are interested in the group cohomology of, of the travel reputation, for example, of, of, of gamma. Okay. This, this has a topological interpolation. So this, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, yeah. So we can consider this uh, topological space G mod K mod gamma, and consist, uh, consider the, this uh, shift. This shift C underlying C. This is a shift on on this topological space, which is defined by by this this. this. Okay. So there are just uh, some. Uh, local constant functions. When gamma is torsion free, this is just uh, the the uh, the constant shift. Yeah. When gamma is torsion free, this is a manifold. This is just the usual cohomology of of the topological manifold. Yeah. yeah. So we are interested in calculating the, this uh, cohomology space. But, uh, in general, this is too hard. <laughs> More generally, we fix an irreducible finite dimensional representation of G. I call it F. Okay. We can consider this uh, uh, cohomology space with a coefficient system in F. Uh, similarly, this guy equals uh, shift cohomology. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we we wanted to understand this uh, this cohomology space. Such a problem is interesting in topology and has many uh, important applications in arithmetic. So this is important for arithmetic. Okay. There, there is a uh, canonical linear map from this space. Okay. This is a fixed point, uh, fixed point space of gamma in F. Okay. And uh, this is a continuous cohomology. I will explain that the precise definition of continuous cohomology later. But here, just to remind you, in this case, it's easy to, to describe. This just equals uh, the, the dual space of this wedge space. Yeah. This GC means the complexified Lie algebra of this Lie group G. Yeah. Then, um, we, we view this if uh, uh, up gamma is a trivial representation of G. Yeah. Then we can consider this uh, continuous cohomology space. This equals this tensor product cost. Yeah. Then we can uh, consider the restriction of cohomology map. We get uh, su su such a linear map. And then we change the coefficient. We get uh, such a linear map. Okay. Uh, taking composition, we get a linear map from this, this space yeah, this space, it, it should be, we consider this is understood. This space is understood. 
and uh, we, we get a linear map from this guy to this guy. This is an in, in, interesting space. Yeah. Now the problem is, is this an isomorphism? Of course, in general, it's not. But in some cases, this uh, is an isomorphism. So uh, there are, are some earlier results on, on this problem. I, I don't know much about the history. <laughs> uh, I, I just listed some, some names who has worked on this problem. His name is Zheng Yang, Zheng Yang. When? Nineteen nineties. I'm not sure. Maybe nineteen ninety two. Young's paper. Borel's paper is very earlier. Yeah. I think Borel's paper in the. Schumann's paper in 1960. So we were working on more specific settings. So this G, black G is a connected reductive linear algebraic group defined over Q and gamma. Now we suppose gamma to be a congruence subgroup. And this G is the intersection of all, all these a kernel of all these homomorphisms. Okay. We, we, uh, yeah, if we define G in this way, then gamma is inside G, and gamma is actually a lattice in G. Yeah. If we just take this GR, gamma might not be a lattice in strict sense. Yeah. In this, yeah. Then gamma is a lattice. Yeah. Our, our uh, main theorem is the global theorem. Uh, that the, the above uh, linear map I mentioned here, this linear map is an isomorphism when i is small. So I listen R G. This R G is no, no, not rank. R G is defined here. Okay. Here, here, this R G is the smallest integer if it exists such that the continuous cohomology group. This guy is non zero for some finite dimensional irreducible implementation F and some infinite dimensional irreducible unitary implementation pi of G. Yeah. So this is minimal, minimal possi possible degree of, of non vanishing cohomology for unitary implementations, for infinite dimensional unitary implementations. Okay. If, for example, if G is compact, then no such. Uh, representation exists. So no infinite dimension in reducible unitary representation exists. So we just uh, set uh, R equal to infinity. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for I smaller than R G, we have such a such an uh, we have uh, an isomorphism. Isomorphism. Okay. Yeah. This is the main result. And RG, in all cases, this RG is calculated, actually. For example, if G is GLNR, then this guy equals, RG equals A minus one. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, in many cases, this RG is the optimal bone. So means if we take RG, if I equals RG, then this map is not an isomorphism. This is uh, optimal bound. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I have mentioned that this is, is, is calculated by, I think, mainly by Inwright, Ma Wesson, <laughs> Bogen Zuckman. I, let's look at the two examples. First one, if G is uh, S U M N, okay. then by much humorous result. Suppose uh, G mod gamma is compact and I is less than this half of minimum of MN, then there is isomorphism. But in, by our theorem, so this RG, in this case, RG is just the minimum of MN. So in this case, 
uh, suppose gamma is a congruent subgroup and i is smaller than this guy, then we have such a nice morphism. Okay. So this bound is better than much humorous bound. Let's look at the group uh, S and R. Uh, Borel uh, proves the following. If uh, suppose gamma is a congruent subgroup in n larger than or equal to 4, I think this is automatic. Uh, and I is less than or equal to uh, force of n plus 2. Then uh, Borel proves such a nice model. Using our uh, theorem, we get a better bound. So for, for all i less than or equal to n minus 2, we have such an isomorphism. Okay. So the proof, uh, of course, we use, uh, yeah. even in statement, we use continuous cohomology. So this is actually GK cohomology. So, but uh, just uh, let me uh, recall the basic notion of continuous cohomology. Since we will use continuous cohomology or smooth cohomology as the proof. Now let G be a locally compact host of topological group. By a representation of G, we mean a quasi-complete host of and a locally convex topological vector space V over C together with a continuous linear action. So this is just a, your definition of representation of topological group. So we always uh, assume the representation space is quasi complete. Okay. Then all, of course, all representations of G form a category. I call it a rep G. We wanted to define this uh, continuous cohomology space. Okay. So this is defined by Hotschild and Mostel. I think in 1960 years. To, to define the continuous cohomology, we introduce this uh, uh, strong homomorphism. Uh, given homomorphism phi, in, the, in this uh, uh, phi, a homomorphism phi of the representation in, in this category. If uh, the kernel of phi inside the V1 is a direct demand, is a topological vector space, and the image inside the V2 is also a direct demand, is a topological vector space, then we say, this homomorphism is strong. Okay. And a representation V of G is said to be relatively project, uh, relatively injective. If for all injective strong homomorphism, V1 to V2, uh, and every homomorphism from V1 to V extends to, to, to V2. So let, let me, yeah. So if we have V1 embedded to V2, uh, and this is, I assume this is strong. Uh, this means is a topological, uh, is a topological vector space V1 uh, is a direct smart here. So this means this embedding split. Uh, for every uh, homomorphism that exists, can, can extend it. So this is just uh, similar to the usual definition of injective object in homological algebra. It's uh, called a relative version. So a strong injective resolution of a representation V of G is just an exact sequence, such an exact sequence in this category, representation of G, such that all Gi's are relatively injective, and all the arrows are strong homomorphisms. We need all the arrows uh, to be strong. Okay. Then we define the continuous cohomology to, just to be the cohomology of this of, of this complex. Okay. This is a locally convex topological vector space, of course. Okay. And uh, uh, but uh, this locally convex topological vector space may not be hostile. And uh, this space, and this space in, is independent of this resolution. And this is just uh, the same as in the usual homological algebra. Yeah. Similarly, we can define smooth cohomology. So now let G be a Lie group. Then uh, we have the usual notion of smooth representation. Okay. A representation is said to be smooth if for every x in the Lie algebra, 
we define the differential as uh, the action of x. Uh, this is just x dot v equals exponential t x x on v, then take a differential and evaluate at t equal to zero. Okay. We require this map is well defined and continuous. We, we, we must assume it is continuous. Okay. This, uh, we should not forget this condition. This map should be continuous. Okay. If this is correct, then we, we say uh, the representation is smooth. Okay. Of course, all smooth representations also form a category. We use representation G infinite. Okay. And uh, all smooth representations are a natural representation of the complex family algebra. Uh, similarly, a homomorphism phi in this category is called strong uh, by, by the same condition. Okay. The kernel is a direct span and also image is a direct span. Okay. Then the same, uh, we, we, we can use the same definition. Let's say a, a representation phi is a relatively injective. Definition is just the same. Okay. And, uh, also, we have the same notion of injective resolution in this category. Uh, and then, in this category, we can define a smooth homology. Okay. Again, this is a local convex topological vector space. Okay. Here are some basic factors on, on continuous homology and the smooth homology. So if V is already a smooth representation, of course, it is also a representation. Huh? Then the continuous cohomology actually equals smooth cohomology. And uh, uh, now suppose G has only a finite terminal connected components. Then uh, for every smooth representation, this smooth representation, uh, a smooth cohomology actually equals the usual relatively algebra cohomology. Here K is a maximal compact subgroup of G. And uh, the continuous cohomology equals the smooth cohomology of the, the G infinite. This means that the representation of the smooth vector in V. So this equality holds at least when V is stress based. Okay. The brain can prove this when V is stress based. Uh, here, uh, this relative uh, the algebra cohomology is calculated by using this uh, cohomology. This is your, your definition of relatively algebra cohomology. And this smoothing, this is called the smoothing of V, V infinite, is defined by, by just uh, this, this uh, uh, fiber product of the presentation. Yeah. Here, v, v is embedded to the, this means continuous function on G with values in V. Okay. Then we use this, uh, this is called the uh, orbit map. Yeah. And this guy is a representation of G and the right translations. Then this guy is a homomorphism representation. And of course, this is also a homomorphism representation. We take a fiber product, then this is a smooth representation. This is called the smoothing of V. Start from a, so this is start from an arbitrary representation, we get a smooth representation. Okay. The smooth. Okay. So this is a quick review of the theory of, of uh, continuous cohomology. Now we can state a, a key local result. Now let G be a real reductive group. And if be uh, an irreducible finite dimensional representation of G as before, okay? and the P is a proper parabolic subgroup of G, so P cannot equal to G, right. and N be the unipotent radical of P, and L is the uh, Levy quotient. Okay? The, the the key local theorem is the following: for every irreducible unitarizable cosmo walker representation, I will explain this notion cosmo walker representation. Sigma of L and every dominant positive character nu of L. 
I will also explain this notion of dominant character. This cohomology, this induces, normalizes the induction, this is, normalizes the smooth induction. This induces augmentation, uh, cancel F, then we take a continuous cohomology. This always vanish when I is less than, uh, is smaller than RG. So this means for uh, dominant parabolic induction, the cohomology vanishes in a low degree. So this is an important condition of dominant. Yeah. Yeah, uh, here I, oh. first I let to uh, remind you, this notion of custom or lack augmentation. This definition, actually, you might just consider it as this, this, uh, some canonical smooth augmentations. For precise notion, it's uh, smooth, moderate growth, and uh, shy, and its uh, underlying GK module is, uh, is finally generate and uh, admissible. So this is Casimir Wallach representation. Casimir Wallach proves all zero representations, the category of all zero representations equivalent to the category of Hartranger modules. How to change the modules means the final generator admissible GK module. Yeah. Here, here is your uh, notion of dominant. We, we take a splitting uh, of this quotient map, then we write uh, P equals LN. Take a <coughs> maximally split cardosable algebra of L, uh, this H of, of L, then a uh, um, Positive character new from L to R plus cross is said to be dominant. If this pairing is a negative for all for all root alpha attached to this uh, the algebra of N. Yeah. Here, here we use the complexity differentiation of, of this new still by still denote uh, this complex differential different ratio of new by new. The new is checked to this the algebra and the pairing with this co-root. It's, it's always in the negative. Of course, this, this pairing is always, always real, since this new is, is a real character. And we assume this dominant condition. This definition is independent of this splitting and independent of the choice of H. It's easier to trace. So, so we have a notion of dominant character of, of, of this lady. Okay. Yeah. If, for example, in the Langlands classification, we use always use strict dominant positive character. Okay. So, for example, if this sigma is temperate, this is strictly dominant. Then this is uh, Langlands induced mutation. So this uh, a proof of this main local theorem is, is uh, basically we use constant theorem on the uh, algebra cohomology of the opponent and the algebra. Okay, this is one first uh, one major uh, part of the proof. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then we use case by case analysis on the root system. This is some kind of tedious. <laughs> uh, for, for for this, if if you if you not that important, I think. So, so uh, when if you travel representation, you really we get uh, the 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 smallest uh, the smallest uh, degree. Of vanish, of, of non vanish. Okay. So the proof, like uh, co constant, uh, why? Yeah. yeah I, I should uh, let me say a few words uh, about the proof. So this this guy equals G 
if cancer just induce fermentation, by by Chaparro's lemma, lemma, this equals the continuous homology of this parabolic. If P, if cancer uh, new cancer sigma cancer some certain low shift, uh, since we use normalized induction, certain low shift, uh, then mm, yeah, then this is then, then you use. Uh, A, a, a spectral sequence. So this is H. H of, you, you first take a, take an income larger. Okay. Income larger. So this is just that equal the real the algebra come larger of F tens U uh, tens uh, sigma tens. Uh, no. And uh, this is L. Okay. This is I, J. This is such kind of spectral sequence. Okay. Okay. And uh, then uh, to, to determine the variation of, the, of this homology, you use a constant theorem. Okay. So this is, you, you can put NX on this, this is this part of trivial. So just, uh, this is just uh, N homology of this F, okay. and this, since this is dominant, so you have some bound on the non-vanishing, the bound on this I on the, for the non-vanishing of this homology space. So this is a result of constant. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, this is some kind of elementary, but uh, it's, uh, it's tedious to prove. Okay. No, uh, I, I wanted to explain how to reduce the global theorem to this local result, okay. to this local result. Okay. For this, we need some results of, of Frank. Now, uh, Still, let G be a real reductive group, K a maximum compact, and the gamma a, a lattice. If an irreducible finite dimensional representation of G, then uh, using Shapiro's lemma, this homology space equals the smooth homology of this induced representation, induced from gamma to, to G. Okay. This is just the smooth induction. Okay. I mean, smooth induction. And, uh, and this induced representation equals the cancer product of F with this space of smooth functions. Okay. This holds in general. Now for now we we uh, return to this more specific case. G is algebraic group and gamma is a congruent group. And this G is the same. Then A this A G mod gamma denote the space of smooth automorphic forms. Okay. By definition, smooth automorphic form is a direct limit of these spaces. Here I is a finite co-dimension idea of, of ZGC. ZGC means the center of the universal enveloping algebra. Okay. This guy, by definition, is all smooth automorphic forms which are anni annihilated by I. Okay. This space is uh, this, this space has a natural topology, okay. natural free topology. And uh, under right translation of G, this is a cosmological representation of G, this guy. I think this is, this is, I should uh, attribute this to, to Harichandra. Harichandra proved this is admissible as a representation of G, okay. So, Using Harichandra's uh, result, we can we can show. Of course, we also need the uh, Cosmo Wallach's uh, uh, globalization theorem. U using both, we can show this canonical uh, Cosmo Wallach representation. Okay. Yeah. Then, then we take a direct limit in the category of locally convex topological spaces. Okay. Then this is a smooth representation of G. Okay. So we get a spa uh, space of smooth automorphic forms which is a smooth representation of the Lie group G. Okay. 
then of course we can also consider this this smooth homology space. Yeah. And uh, uh, this guy is in is a, a subspace of smooth functions. Then there is a natural map from right hand side to left. And the Frank theorem is say that this map is isomorphism. So we have equality of we have an equality of I think this equality of topological vector space. This is this is a deep theorem, not 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 so obvious. <laughs> some, some deep harmonic analysis. This remark is, is, is some kind of trivial. Okay, we extend the f to a representation of gr. This gr is, I think, uh, the difference of gr and the g is just uh, a vector group, something like gr. I call it black black gr equals this g times some. Vector group, you are denoted by AG. So there is no big difference between, between this GR and the G. And uh, uh, we arbitrarily extend the F to a representation of this guy. So it means we fix an arbitrary character of, of, of AG. Uh. Then this smooth homology space and this smooth homology space are the same. Uh. So we can just uh, consider uh, this homology space. So this guy equals the this guy equals the homology group of this gamma. It's. Uh, this this is you will. <laughs> Your notation in the theory of the mod form. <laughs> the P0 is a minimal split. Huh? Sorry, this is a minimal, minimal parabolic in G, P0. This is a minimal parabolic in G. And A0 is a maximal split torus in P0. And the P is a standard parabolic. This means P contains P0, and the LP contains uh, A0. And NP is a unipotent radical. And let AP be the largest split central torus in L. And this is uh, AP. This AP is uh, the algebra of the group of R points. Okay. And we add one C to, to indicate the complexification. And this uh, this is check to, to indicate the dual space. So APG means space, the space of smooth automorphic forms on, on this quotient space. Okay. You want? This is a representation of GA, and it is smooth as a representation of GR. Of course, it's also a smooth representation of, of the group of the points of finite ideal. For abbreviation, AG is just AGG. So this is UL space of smooth automorphic forms. Okay? For this space, we have a uh, uh, representation of APR on, on, on this, this space by this formula, this is real one. Okay. Here, low P denotes some, uh, the half sum of the weights. Yeah. So this representation differentiate to a representation of, of this guy, of its complexified Lie algebra. Okay. And this action is, is uh, low P. Locally finite, so we can have an generalized eigenspace decomposition. Okay. And uh, this this action also commutes with uh, the action of 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 G of G Adele, okay, of the group G on this space. Okay. Therefore, this is a decomposition of representations. Okay. We need a, a result of to, to define, uh, we want to define uh, Frank's filtration. For this, we need the uh, result of long lines for the, com for the composition of this, uh, this uh, uh, the algebra. Okay. It's a disjoint union of, of all standard parabolic of these. So here, this is a dominant cone. This is a dominant cone. This is some kind of 
count, uh, spanned by positive roots. Okay. Something like. Okay. Using this decomposition, we can define the, the, a map from from this vector space to this dominant cone. Okay. I call this map uh, uh, the, the map of taking the dominant part okay, in the system. So this map is, is important to study the growth of optimal forms. Okay. Here is Frank's filtration. This is just a, uh, basically this is a filtration in terms of growth of optimal forms. Okay. So AG less than or equal to T is the space of all automorphic forms. So that VP, this VP means uh, the constant term of, of phi. So this is in this space. Uh, VP is in this space. Uh, we require this VP to be in in this direct sum. So here, lambda. The exponent lambda must satisfy this condition. Okay. So this is a real part of lambda. We take the dominant part and the pairing with the low zero check. The less than or equal to t. Here, low zero check is just uh, a vector here. It's the sum of the fundamental co whites. It's also the sum of uh, half sum of positive roots. But uh, if you say in this way, you should. Uh, <coughs> Not count the count the multiplicity, but uh, so I I think it's better to say in this way. Low zero check is some of the fundamental co-whites. For example, if we take t equal to zero, then um, this space is just the space of almost square integrable automorphic forms. So this means uh, it's. Uh, Restrict to it's restricted to this space and this space is uh, L two plus epsilon. This so, so G G one A is just uh, G one A is just uh, intersect uh, intersect of all all the all kernel of the the, the epsilon value of K. This is G A goes to uh, a plus cross. Yeah. K is the algebraic character. G goes to G01 over Q. So this is similar to the previously defined this group G. Okay. Here we use a translation. By, by G, since we, if if G, if this group G is semi simple, we don't need this translation. <laughs> okay. So this is, yeah. This is almost a square integrable, integrable at mod form. Similarly, we can define A G less than T. By the same de definition, except here we require the parent to strictly less than t. Okay. For example, if t equal to zero, then uh, this space is just the zero space. Yeah, it's only zero space. Since this number is always this is dominant, this is always also dominant. So this pairing is larger than or equal to zero always. Then we define this uh, this uh, quotient. So it's uh, it's uh, the the gradient. Right? So here is Frank's result. So this gradient, he he calculated this gradient. Okay. So this is a sum of all p, and uh, so. The, the definition is similar to the, the uh, here, here, this space is similar to the one in definition of the, the filtration, except here we take this equality. Okay. So the pairing must equal to T, okay? 
and, oh, and, and this real part is already dominant. We, we also need the, this, this real part of lambda is already dominant. Yeah. Here, this AP2 two, two bar means uh, the almost square integrable automorphic form in, in, in this APG. Okay. So this is all automorphic forms that when uh, if, after translation by arbitrary element, its restriction to this space is uh, L2 plus epsilon. Okay. So this is an induced augmentation of this guy. Okay. Things that, you see this, guy, this lambda is dominant. So this induced augmentation is also is always dominant, dominant induced is, is in the local theorem. So this is dominant induced augmentation. So the homology of this uh, representation vanishes uh, at low degree. Yeah. Yeah. This this point. Okay. Now we can uh, tell you the, the the idea of the pool. So use Frank's filtration, okay, and the, the local theorem. This implies the smooth homology of of this automorphic form tensor F. Okay, we know this guy. Uh, oh yeah. This smooth homology equals the smooth homology of only this almost square integral automorphic form, this part. Okay. Things using uh, the filtration, we know all other, other parts when t, uh, when t is, uh, is positive, all these spaces, all, all these spaces, the homology of all these representations vanishes. So this is a dominant induced limitation. Okay. So we get uh, such an equality. And then uh, this guy, what, what is this space of uh, almost square integral representations? This guy, A to bar G, like this. This is, of course, this is direct uh, square integral, integrable automorphic forms are inside this. Uh, this space is inside like this, and plus some, some kind of, some induced limitation, G, A, P, A, and some, um, I call it A, something like this, and take, a, take a some finite group in advance. Another group in that. So this is by just by Eisenstein series, we know the, the space of almost square integral integral of automorphic forms is a direct sum of square integral automorphic form plus some some kind of induced augmentation and take some finite group addition. So the finite group addition comes from the intervening operators. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, again we use uh, Use the local result. We know the uh, cohomology of this representation vanishes at a low degree. Okay. Therefore, the cohomology of this guy equals the cohomology of this guy at a low degree. Okay. Therefore, we get uh, this equality okay, for i less than Rg. Okay. Now we so for low degree, we only need to consider uh, the square integrable automorphic forms. Yeah. This is, here we work in the Adelic setting. But uh, using this Adel, uh, these results in Adelic setting, you, you, this, we can get uh, result in the classical language. Okay. So this G is a real uh, le le reductive group. Yeah. And then smooth homology of this guy, equals smooth homology of this square integrable automorphic form. The space of square integrable automorphic form cancel with F. So this guy, at least in, at a low degree, we can, only, we can use just the square integrable automorphic forms to calculate this homology. Okay. 
And uh, finally, uh, at low degree, we only need to consider finite dimensional representation here. This is, this is obvious. We only need to consider finite dimensional uh, representation apparent here. Then this, uh, it's easy to see this, this uh, equal to this space. Just uh, if uh, common vector tends to this uh, smooth homology of this trivial representation. So this is a rough idea of the proof. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So not not congruence. Why we assume gamma is congruence? Huh? Uh, let me see some. Um, yeah, this Frank theorem. This is proved in the setting of a Dalek setting. Yeah, so we have to assume this. And this is the main reason, and also uh, and also. Maybe that's uh, not important. Uh, in the theory of isosceles theory, you are de developed in a dialectic setting, a dialectic setting also. Right? So, so maybe we, uh, at this step, we, are, we also need to use uh, congruence assumption. I'm not sure, but, uh, but it's, it's earlier. It's, yeah, it's earlier, I think. This is. Yeah, this is earlier. Yeah, this is earlier. Yeah, I, I write down some. some yeah, I write down some names. <coughs> In right. This is earlier, I think. Um, no, yes. they, they study uh, unit representation with non-zero cohomology. So they consider the minimal possible degree of, of cohomology. So I guess the, the computation of R should just be a little bit higher. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Uh, what are the main techniques that you use for earlier detail? My technical? Uh, well, what, what for, for example, in the paper of Yeah, in, in, yeah in, in paper of Yeah, he, he, he used differential geometry. He, he, he proved by differential geometry. And uh, for this, since the G model gamma is compact, so uh, it's just uh, rely on unit implementation with non zero homology. But uh, at uh, early years, the, this theory is not uh, developed well. So they so get a weak result. Okay. Mm. Uh, in the co compact case, we don't use, we don't need the Frank's filtration. In, in this case, compact case, uh, in compact case, we don't need uh, the assumption that the gamma is congruent. It's, uh, we only need it's a, a lattice, arbitrary lattice is okay. Yeah. So uh, in this case, I think we don't need the argument here. You, you, you only need to, to know the, the minimal, uh, you, you just need to estimate the RG. But uh, in early years, this RG is not calculated yet. Okay. <laughs> so in this case, uh, co compact case is uh, don't use all the arguments. Hmm? 
Pardon? Oh, this is not a good, uh, good, good illustration. <laughs> Thank you.